High-tech body scans help doctors save lives. The three-dimensional x-rays are extremely common and very valuable. But new research raises a lot of concern about the dangers of all that radiation to children. Tonight, I'm on your side with what you need to know to protect your child from what could be toxic exposure. Nine-year-old Emily Ware walks the halls of Children's Medical Center often. I like to see all my nurses and friends. With badge in hand, this junior nurse helps out in the hematology oncology clinic, where she's also a patient, fighting cancer now for the third time. This is also a familiar place to Emily. It helps them know how I'm doing inside of my body. Emily's talking about a CT scan, that's short for computed tomography. This machine can quickly take several x-rays from several angles, giving doctors volumes of information. How much tumor does she have and where is it? Does she need additional chemotherapy or radiation therapy to treat the cancer to make her cancer free? But this information comes at a price radiation exposure. There is a lot of concern about what that exposure can do to adults and fear okay. of what it means for children who often receive the same doses of radiation as people three times their size. Children's tissues are more sensitive because they're younger and children don't need as much radiation to penetrate their body parts. According to the Food and Drug Administration, some of these machines are giving patients four times the amount of radiation than first thought. Dayton Children's Medical Center always dials down that dose for its patients without lowering the clarity of the scan. Even so, Dr. Elizabeth I says we need to make sure kids only Good get these job. scans when they're absolutely necessary. And if we decide to do a CT in a child, we need to be sure that we're using the proper technique to use as little radiation as possible to make a good diagnosis. Too much radiation can give us sunburn. Prolonged radiation exposure can give us skin cancer. In fact, research shows medical radiation may be responsible for 29,000 new cases of cancer a year. Unfortunately for Emily, part of her cancer treatment includes regular CT scans. Well, I need to point out that while there is concern, individual cancer cases linked to CT scans are less than 1 in 1,000. So, as parents, what do you do? Well, Dr. I urges you to ask a lot of questions about any scan your child may need. Make sure you understand the problem you want to diagnose. Ask if there are alternatives to a CT scan. Be sure your child is getting a pediatric low dose of radiation, and make sure the facility you're using is certified by the American College of Radiology. Thank <laughs> you.